This section of the video will illustrate one method of flashing a curb. Step 1. After the deck membrane has been positioned around the curb, position the HPWX plates a minimum of 6 inches to a maximum of 9 inches from the outside corners. Fasten the membrane to the deck utilizing HPWX fasteners. Step 2. Measure the circumference of the curb, then add approximately 3 inches. To determine the width of the flashing, add a minimum of 2 inches from the edge of the securement extending to the top of the curb. This curb will require a continuous piece of Weatherbond Pro-TPO membrane approximately 16 inches wide by 103 inches long. Do not use a TPO non-reinforced flashing to completely flash a curb or wall. Step 3. Install the Weatherbond Pro-TPO membrane to the curb by starting at an outside corner. Fasten the membrane with an appropriate fastener. The flashing for this curb is not required to be bonded in place. Weatherbond Pro-TPO bonding adhesive is not required when the flashing height is 12 inches or less and the membrane is terminated under a metal counter flashing. When a coping or termination bar is used for the vertical termination, Weatherbond Pro-TPO bonding adhesive may be eliminated when the flashing height is 18 inches or less. As each side is fastened, cut the membrane at the outside corner. Cut and remove the excess material at the vertical splice and cut the vertical splice diagonally. Step 4. Using a handheld welder, weld the deck flanges to achieve a minimum 1.5 inch weld past the edge of the plates. Step 5. Complete the corners following the WBPC-15 details. Step 6. Apply a bead of TPO cut edge sealant to all exposed scrim edges.